I'm Vanessa Litchard here with Sports Night, and today we have a special interview with you. I'm here with freshman Jimmy Lambert, who plays for the Michigan hockey team. So, how was your first season playing college hockey? Um, it's amazing. Obviously, uh, being from Canada, uh, there's a lot of college hockey programs, but um, to have the ability to play Yost Ice Arena it was truly special. Um, obviously, we didn't exactly have the outcome we wanted, but uh, it was definitely a great experience, and I'm very excited for what's to come. Yeah, so you talked a little bit about how you played in Canada in the what league, the BCHL. Yep. How was playing in the BCHL different than when you played this season playing college in the NCAA? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, there's a it's, a it's a much higher level of hockey. Um, than NCAA is? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, there's just a lot. Um, I find the biggest change for me was, was speed and size. A lot of the guys are a lot bigger, stronger. Uh, and faster yeah. um, so basically the adjustment period was it was a little longer than expected but um, you know as soon as things started to get going uh, it was a lot of fun and then on that note what were like the differences with practices and training with college hockey instead of being now in the BCHL yeah I mean um, in the BCHL there's uh, about 58 games and in NCAA we play about 35 so um, it was definitely um, a big a big change for practice because you know you're playing so many less games so practices mean so much more to make sure that you're getting in the lineup and everything because um, there's a lot more competition uh, within your own teammates so making sure that uh, you're taking care of practice is uh, is huge for college hockey and, and that was definitely the biggest change yes yeah, so it was definitely more intense for you you'd say than yeah, NCAA for sure. was. yeah and then this intensity now as you move on from the BCHL you're now a student as well as you are an athlete. How did you manage that with your schoolwork and playing college hockey? Uh, yeah, it's definitely um, a mix between making sure that you know your future schedule and your uh, athletic schedule. So um, I think for me, it was just the biggest, uh, the biggest transition was making sure that I was talking to our advisors and making sure that I knew what I had going on in my schoolwork and, and, and my, uh, my future hockey plans. So um, yeah, the biggest thing was just making sure I knew my future schedule um, in school mm -hmm. and on the ice. Sweet, awesome. So now to talk a little bit about yourself. I mean, you were great for the team this year. You ended up the season leading the freshmen, of all the freshmen, you had the most points. So what was it like being such a successful contributor to this year's team? Yeah, it's always nice to be able to contribute to the team. Um, but I think the biggest thing was uh, that, that kind of led to my success was just uh, the ongoing support from our coaching staff and everybody that we have yeah. uh, within the program and obviously our seniors and, and all the upperclassmen it was a big help you know they just made sure that we all felt comfortable and that was definitely the biggest thing it was just making sure that we, we had a safe transition and a, and a smooth one as well so um, it was definitely a lot of fun and I can't wait for more. Yeah and so with this coaching staff at the at the University of Michigan this is, I mean, this is a great school. This is a number one university. So why did you choose this college to suit you to play some college hockey? Like, why was it the University of Michigan? Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great question. Uh, the University of Michigan is a school in Canada that um, is very well known. Obviously, the winged helmets mm -hmm. is something that everyone recognizes from all over the world. So, yeah, um, yeah it was, I mean, when I came here on my visit, um, I got to take a tour around campus, and when it came time to leave, I, I really didn't want to leave at all. I just kind of wanted to stay yeah. and jump right into things uh, right off the bat. So, um, yeah, it was just, I mean, its I just felt like I could spend my four years here and, and really enjoy myself. So that was kind of the biggest reason. Yeah, and last year, uh, Michigan, as we know, made it to the Frozen Four. Did that have anything to do with your decision, or was it almost the name, the University of Michigan, that really persuaded you? Or uh, Actually, last year I committed in uh, October, so it would have been two Octobers ago. Um, so it would have been before the Frozen Four, and actually um, I just kind of, I followed it a lot. I've obviously followed it in great detail. Um, it was nice to be able to watch them play, and it was mm -hmm. very exciting for me, um, knowing that all my friends and family knew where I was going. Yeah. So to see the big uh, University of Michigan Wolverines in the Frozen Four was definitely a big uh, confidence booster, and yeah. it made me feel very, very good. So it was definitely a, a nice little boost yeah. for them to go to the Frozen Four. Yeah, definitely really exciting to like look at this team and be like, wow, I'm playing here next year. Yeah, I exactly. can contribute. And so what, I guess, were your overall final thoughts about this season that you played here at U of M? Um, it was amazing. Um, I'll never forget it, especially the first time I stepped on Yost Ice Arena. Yeah. 
I um, can that's, that was very, very special playing in front of the children of Yost and all yeah. the other great Michigan fans. So, um, honestly, that would be the biggest thing that I remember. Um, and, I, and I'm very excited for the, the three more years to come. Yeah, being a member of the children of Yost myself, I can only imagine what it's like being the one stepping on the ice, the yeah. one cheering for. Like, that must be a crazy feeling. So, I know that this season, of course, wasn't Michigan's best season, but nonetheless, still room for so much improvement. So, what do you expect to be different next year? Um, obviously, we're going to have an older team. Uh, yeah. I think we were one of the youngest teams in the country. Um, so, being a little bit older and having a little bit more experience will definitely help with uh, confidence and and just overall, our pace of play will definitely increase. Um, you know, having so many more guys back, uh, it'll just be nice to uh, kind of get back with the same group of guys and, yeah. and make sure that we're all on the, on the same track and making sure that we're ready to go and, and have the same goals as, as this year, obviously, to get to the Frozen Four, yeah. but uh, actually complete those goals. Yeah. Um, th that's what I'm most excited about too next year is just all these freshmen because they had you guys had eight or nine freshmen to come and be more leaders because of the experience that they gained this past year and so I guess my final question for you is looking towards next year who do you expect the biggest threat in the Big Ten is going to be um, is it Ohio State is it Notre Dame I mean we've seen that the past two or three years is it Michigan you know like Give me I mean, your opinion. You never know. I mean, if you look at the, the Big Ten rankings, the preseason rankings prior to this season over the last few years, it's kind of been um, a long shot on a couple of them. I mean, last year, Michigan, I think they were ranked sixth or seventh yeah. in the Big Ten and they ended up going to the Frozen Four. So you never really can tell from the beginning of the year or where we are right now. Yeah. Um, every team loses players. Every team gains new players. And, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's uh, definitely a big challenge to, yeah. to pick a team. Yeah. Um, but if I were to pick one, I mean, I think Wisconsin's getting in a, a great freshman class. Interesting so th choice. Yeah, they yeah. might be a, a very big contender as well as Penn State. But, I mean, it could be anyone. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm fairly confident in, in our team for next year yeah. as well. So um, I'm very excited. I think it's going to be a very, uh, a very tight um, ranking next year in the Big Ten. Yeah, and the Big Ten's always such a competitive league. I mean, you got all these good teams. You got Notre Dame who just joined last year. It's going to be hard to see, but I'll leave you with my take. I think the best team in the Big Ten is going to be Michigan. So thank you so much for tuning in with us. Jimmy, it was so nice to have you here with Sports Night. Thank you so much for interviewing, and everyone have a good night. Thanks for having me.